Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I want to tell you about a favorite game of mine for the Nintendo DS based on a hit retro video game show from Japan featuring Shinya Reno that started in the early 2000s called Game Center CX. And that show's still going strong today. I have been watching Game Center CX since 2007 when some fan translations started popping up on the internet. In 2011, Kotaku featured early episodes subtitled and dubbed over with an American announcer, retitled Retro Game Master. You can still watch that today for free on Kotaku. The show, while very enjoyable, removed many of the shorts, like trips to the arcades and candy shops, or running through the release dates of NES and Game Boy games. That would break up the gameplay of an episode and make it a little more fun. A year after the Kotaku episodes ran online, a DVD set was released. I immediately purchased these in support of the shows. I had hoped they would have had more officially translated episodes. Unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. But thanks to the strong fan base and hardworking translators out there, episodes subtitled in English have continued to trickle out over the last 15 years at a slow but steady pace, with all the content intact. If you find the right episodes online, you'll actually see Arena working with developers on this very game. Sadly, Retro Game Challenge did not sell in America as well as they had hoped, and even though a more ambitious sequel was created, that has remained a Japanese exclusive to this day. The original Retro Game Challenge on the DS draws on the same factor as the show it's based on, and that factor is nostalgia. When playing the game, you'll be challenged to play retro video games to achieve certain goals, with instructions from the game manual, as well as tips from a virtual release of a magazine called GameFan. All the while, you'll be taunted by a Max Headroom-esque version of Areno, and at the same time, being cheered on by a young Areno, as you've somehow been sent back in time to be his friend. Well, I could go on for Game Center CX for hours. Maybe someday I'll come back and revisit this, and I will go on for hours about it. But I just wanted you to have a little insight about this game's origins. Now, this game has become a bit rare and expensive over the years, anywhere from $50 for the cart to $100 plus complete. But I'll say it's well worth the price for the unique experience it presents. Well, here's the first hour of gameplay that's been a little bit condensed for time, so I hope you enjoy and find this interesting. We'll see you soon. Having been utterly defeated by his friends in every current gen multiplayer game, Arena longed to become a gaming master. His obsessive desire for complete dominance in the gaming world spawned a digitalized version of himself in his Nintendo DS. He came to be called Game Master Arena, and he began to haunt gamers around the world with retro game challenges. You have been chosen for his all new game challenges from his home turf, the 80s.
Nice!